fastest a woman on four wheels Jessie Combs killed in jet car crash at 36. Renowned racer Jessie Combs, who hosted Mythbusters and Overhulen, died Tuesday in a jet car crash while attempting to break a land speed record in Oregon, the Associated Press reports. She was 36. According to AP, Combs died in a dry lake bed in a desert while trying to best the women's land speed record of 512 miles per hour set in 1976 by Kitty O'Neill, who died last year at age 72. Since O'Neill piloted a three-wheeled vehicle, Combs held the title for fastest woman on four wheels since reaching 398 miles per hour in 2013. Though she'd bested the speed in later runs, mechanical problems kept these performances out of the record books. Days before her death, Combs seemed to express her desire to break O'Neill's record on her Instagram. It may seem a little crazy to walk directly into the line of fire. Those who are willing, are those who achieve great things, she wrote. People say I'm crazy. I say thank you smile. She also included the hashtags hash I will go faster, hash gotta break 512, hash aiming for 619 and hash currently at 483, among others. Off the racetrack, from 2009 to 2010 Combs hosted Discovery Channel's Myth Busters, a show that uses science to test myths and urban legends, as well as TLC's automotive reality show overhaul in from 2012 to 2014. According to IMDb, Combs had a project called Interviewing Monsters and Bigfoot in post-production. Mythbusters host Adam Savage expressed condolences on Twitter. I'm so so sad, Jesse Combs has been killed in a crash, he wrote. She was a brilliant and two-notch builder, engineer, driver, fabricator, and science communicator, and strove every day to encourage others by her prodigious example. She was also a colleague, and we are lesser for her absence. The Discovery and Motor Trend family is deeply saddened to learn of the tragic passing of Jesse Combs, said a statement given to USA Today by Discovery Channel spokesperson Lori Goldberg. She was a friend and colleague, an icon in the industry, and an undeniable force of nature who left an indelible mark on the car world. Our thoughts are with her family and loved ones. Terry Madden identified by AP as one of Combs' team members on the North American Eagle Racing Team, discussed her death on his Instagram. So I don't know how to say any of this but it all needs said, he wrote, along with a video montage of photos of him and Combs. I have never loved or been loved by anyone as much as this amazing woman at the Jessica she was truly my unicorn and I enjoyed every single minute that I had with her. She was the most amazing spirit that I have ever or will ever know. Unfortunately we lost her yesterday in a horrific accident, I was the first one there and trust me we did everything humanly possible to save her. I'm not okay, but she is right here keeping my going. Madden also noted said Combs family will publish a release with more proper info later today. I made her a promise that if this didn't go well that I would make sure and do good with it, please help me with that, he wrote. I need every one of her true friends to do what she would want take a deep breath, relax and do good things with this, we are finishing the documentary as she wished and the world will know the truth and her foundation will use those funds to do amazing things in this world and make her legacy live on properly. Madden also encouraged people to wait until he and Combs family can get the proper channels put together for fans to donate to a foundation. You until you hear it from me wait please, he wrote. I don't want some, expletive, profiting off this. He concluded, love you all and thank you all for being such amazing friends to her, she dedicated her life to helping support others' dreams and I promise I will continue that. Hash Jesse Combs Hash Jesse Hash Combs Search, USA Today